Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School, the place where I teach you how to design, build and customize your websites. If you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's get into today's video. In this video, I will show you how to add a scrolling indicator or read meter that basically shows how much user has scrolled through the page or read through an article. I have already made a video on this, we have achieved that using Elementor HTML widget but it turns out that you can do it even in a smarter way by using an add-on for Elementor called Unlimited Elements. It's a free download from WordPress repository, I will leave a link to that. Just download that, install that, we will just create our own widget. That's the coolest thing or the coolest feature of this add-on. It lets you create your own widget from HTML, CSS and JavaScript. I told you that you need a basic understanding of HTML, CSS and JavaScript to use this widget. I made courses for HTML and CSS for beginners. So you can check those courses and they are quite easy and you need them in your know, day to day workflow. Once you have basic understanding of them, you can basically do anything that you want. You can create a widget of your own and best thing is this widget even supports dynamic options such as ACF, pods and a lot more. We will be talking about this widget in detail in later video but in this video we will be focused more on creating the scroll indicator widget. I will just click on add widget, just give it a name, I will call it scroll meter or scroll indicator whatever you want to call it and the widget name cannot have space, you need to have either an underscore or you can have a complete set of words with no spaces. So it will automatically populate the widget name for me. I don't need widget description cause the name itself tells me what it is. So I'll just click on add widget. We've just created our widget but it's a bare widget. It do doesn't have any meaning. So we need to click on this edit widget where we'll add our HTML, CSS and JavaScript. We'll use the same code that we used for the Elementor HTML widget. So it's this one from W3 schools. We'll just get this code and use it. Let's go to HTML where it says scroll indicator HTML. We need to copy the HTML that we need for the scroll indicator. You don't need all this. All you need is this starting from this till here. Copy. So copy the highlighted code. Go back and within widget HTML paste. Let's remove this. You don't need H2. H2 is this one, the scroll indicator. You don't need that heading. You just need the indicator itself, not the heading of scroll indicator. We've added HTML. Let's go to CSS. The CSS that you need to add. So CSS starts with the style tag and ends with style tag. So all the CSS that you need to add is from here. So with from dot header class, you need to copy till the progress bar, copy. I know what to copy cause I analyzed the code or the CSS that's required for this progress bar. So that's the reason why I asked you to have a basic understanding of CSS and HTML so that you can take any code from internet and make widgets out of it. But we'll be talking more about this in future. So I'll, I just pasted it. I don't need this dot header h2. I'll remove it. I want header progress container and progress bar. So progress container is the gray area that is filled by the progress bar itself. So when you change the background of the progress bar, it changes this green color. So that's what it means. Essentially, we'll make the options dynamic so that the user can pick any color that he wants. I'll show you that in a bit, but let's first achieve the widget itself. So script, you can directly copy the code. You don't need the script tags when you're copying the code within this add-on. So let's copy the and paste the code required. So this is all the code that you need to copy and paste. Let's click on update. Our add-on is kind of ready. Let's go to any page. Let me refresh the page. Once the page is refreshed within your Elementor interface, within unlimited elements, you'll find your newly created widget that you made out of HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Just drag it like you do with any regular widget. And now you kind of see the scroll bar on the top. It's working, right? It's kind of working. And we need to fix the CSS just a bit. So I'll go back to CSS. Let me give the Z index. Let me make it 1000. Let me also make the left value of the header to 0. Let me update this. 
when I update this add-on, I need to update this page as well so that it loads all the newly given CSS assets. So I'll just click on this, reload the site once again. You may have to drag your widget once again if you update it. I'm just showing you so that you can see what's going on when you update the CSS. I'll drag my scroll indicator into any section. So once it processes the CSS and HTML, now you see the scroll indicator clearly. And there's one more thing. If you don't see your scroll indicator here, don't panic. It's still working. You can see that in preview. And if you cannot see the scroll indicator when you minimize the side panel, don't panic. View it on your actual site when you're signed out of WordPress. When you're signed in, the admin bar will cover this thin border or the thin scroll indicator. So when you're signed out, you can clearly see the scroll indicator. So any user visiting your website will clearly see it. You can see this in preview. Don't worry, I'll show you that in a bit. We achieved our widget. So you can simply cl click and drag this widget wherever you want on any page, post or a template. And this will add scroll bar without me having to do anything. I just had to add this code just once. So this is all I needed to create this scroll bar widget. So now I have a widget, but I need dynamic options so that instead of this color, I must be able to pick any color that I want. I'll also show you how to add a gradient to your progress bar if you wish to. So let's start with a single color. How do you make the color dynamic? It's quite easy. So within CSS, I told you this is what is responsible for the color of the progress bar. And this is the background or the gray area that shows or fills that is filled by the progress bar itself. That's what it's named progress container. We just need to add attributes here. Let's add an attribute and the attribute should be a color, right? So we'll pick a color picker. We'll call it progress color or let's call it bar color. Simple. And it fills up. Let's pick a default value. Like maybe this can pick any value. So if the user doesn't pick or if you don't pick any value, when you drag this widget, this will be the default value. I'll click on add attribute. Let's update it. So we have our attribute. We need to go to CSS and replace this hard coded color with a dynamic color. Now you see the attribute on your right. So all you need to do is to remove the whole hex code and just replace it with the bar color. Update it. Go to your demo. Let's update it again. You may have to drag it again. So I recommend you finish customizing and tweaking your whole widget, making it and then dragging it to any element of page that you wish to add. I'm just doing it to show you what's going on on the back end and on the front end. You can do this in a single step. So you can make all the changes in HTML, CSS, add attributes. Once you finish the widget, you can click on update and then drag the widget. I'm just loading my elementary demo page. It loads again. Now I see my updated progress bar color. If I click on the widget, if I click on the widget itself, now I have a color picker for my progress bar that I can simply change or let's actually pick a different color. So once I pick a color, give it some time and there's my new color. Simple. So you can simply drag it to any page and you can also customize the bar color. What if you want to add a gradient? How do you do that? Well, it's simple. The code for gradient is background and space linear gradient. Then you specify an angle and then within that you specify all the colors that you want. Let's limit ourselves to a gradient of two colors for simplicity. So the first field is an angle and the second one is color. So this is how you make a gradient. I taught this in another video. You can also check out the gradients tutorial. 
so this is how you do it but we don't want it in a hard coded way we want it again in a dynamic way so whichever value you have you have to replace it with an attribute that you can pick from here so let's go back to attributes if you're happy with color you're done with the widget so you can have a color picker or you can also type the hex code but if you want to make the bar a gradient bar this is what you need to do so let me clear this out I'll delete this attribute or let's duplicate it I'll just click on this let's say color 2 this is a part of our gradient color so the second color update attribute let me also change this let's call this color 1 so it's auto filled I have color 1 for my gradient color 2 for my gradient I also need to specify I also want to be able to specify the angle for the gradient so let's again de define an attribute it's a simple number so we'll call it angle and the name can be the same here instead of color picker attribute type just pick number and suffix you don't want any suffix just and the default value should be 45 let's keep it that way so once you're done tweaking all the attributes go back to CSS and instead of 45 the hard-coded value replace it with the number that you defined so angle and let's replace the first color with color 1 let's replace the second color with color 2 attribute let's click on update you may have to update this page once again or refresh this page once again like I told you finish the backend job first and then go back and drag the widget and see how it works that's how you should do but I'm doing it so that you can understand how it's actually working out I just created two dynamic fields now when you load the widget the scroll indicator will have two fields so color one is the first color of gradient you can rename this to anything on the back end but I just wanted color one color two and this is the angle of gradient I clearly understand what it is so let's change this to something else let's pick a greener so we'll pick a more subtle color so that adds in. let's keep the angle at 90 degrees or change it to any number you want you can also give negative angle just give it some time and now you see the gradient in action so the, now the progress bar widget is a gradient progress bar widget if you want to have the same color you can copy the hex code of this and paste it into second color and that will be just the same as having a single color give it some time it will refresh it's a simple color or if you want a gradient just pick a different shade of that color specify an angle for the gradient here let it refresh now you have your gradient bar so it's that easy creating a scroll indicator widget using unlimited elements for Elementor add-on it's really powerful and we'll be talking a lot about this and there's a playlist called build your own widgets on the channel for those of you who have been following this channel our vision was to build our own widgets and this add-on perfectly fits right within that widget it has all it needs to make a widget and you need basic understanding of HTML CSS and I'll also teach JavaScript maybe within a week or so stay tuned for that if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you didn't already comment if you want me to make any other video I'll talk to you in the next video peace